Ever wondered if being kind can sometimes backfire? I mean, we're often told to be nice and put others first, but does anyone mention the flip side of being excessively caring? Well, in today's video, we're diving into the real deal about being overly kind. Trust me, it's not all rainbows and sunshine. We'll uncover the downsides and explore how being too nice can sometimes bring unexpected risks. But hey, fear not. Stick around because I've got four solid ways to protect yourself from those who might take advantage of your kindness. And hey, if you find this helpful, smash that like button and consider subscribing for more wisdom like this. Let's get into it. Today, I want to shed light on the negative things that can happen when you're excessively nice. Whether it's being taken advantage of or facing unexpected risks, there are consequences to being excessively giving. But don't worry. I'll also share four solid ways to safeguard yourself from people who might exploit your kindness. Let's move to the top priority without any more delay. When you expect too much from others, a wise person advises accepting things as they are and not relying on others to make us happy. Giving without expecting too much in return prevents disappointment and helps in practicing emotional detachment, leading to a calmer mind. Sometimes it's tough to be entirely selfless because when we give our all, we expect the same from others. Consequently, they might become accustomed to having everything done for them, assuming you'll manage everything including your responsibilities and theirs. However, if you neglect your own needs, why would you tend to others? This mismatch in expectations can lead to frustration, exhaustion, anger, and sadness. Looking at it objectively, people aren't necessarily failing you. They're merely prioritizing their own tasks, as you should too. The Stoics emphasize that true value comes from behaving in a rational and virtuous manner, not solely from fulfilling others' desires. Giving in moderation and maintaining balance empowers you to control your actions and avoid harmful habits that affect your mental well-being. Remember, people are indeed creatures of habit, and this holds true throughout life. People naturally adjust to routines and the things happening around them, the whole idea of feeling comfortable in a familiar setup comes from this desire for change. But if you're always providing for others, they'll expect continuous support, getting used to relying on you and not taking up their own duties. If you don't value yourself, nobody will encourage you to prioritize your needs. People you assist might not show much understanding or care for your struggles. They're focused on their priorities, neglecting yours. The Stoics believed in living wisely and setting boundaries, putting our responsibilities first to maintain balance and not sacrifice our well-being for others. Prioritizing others over yourself might lead you to evade personal issues that cause you pain and fear. How do you feel when you spend the weekend by yourself or come home every day without anyone there to say hello? If you're keeping busy to avoid dealing with your own thoughts and feelings, it can hit you even harder. You'll eventually have to confront yourself, and meanwhile, your mood might worsen as you prioritize others over yourself. Taking care of yourself is crucial for your health. Before you can support others, you need to ensure your content and well looked after. It's like not giving someone chocolate unless you've really enjoyed it yourself first. Similarly, before offering to tidy up a friend's place, it's good to take care of your own space and relax a bit. Remember, you should come first before worrying about the opinions of others. Putting yourself first isn't weakness, it's self-care. Stoicism advises us to strengthen ourselves and take control by setting boundaries and practicing self-control. This way, we demonstrate our dedication to our duties and beliefs, earning respect instead of seeming weak. If you're always helping others without limits, you might become known as an expert, but with those you work with, it could create the opposite impression. Not setting boundaries might make others view you as weak, similar to someone constantly challenging their boss. People might start offloading their responsibilities onto you because they know you won't refuse. 
However, the moment you start saying no, they'll start respecting you in a way they never expected. You might end up with a lot of followers or people who only approach you when they need something. Stoicism shows us the importance of being discerning and wise in choosing whom to assist. By exercising self-restraint and keeping things in perspective, we can distinguish genuine individuals from those seeking to take advantage. This way, we avoid wasting our time and energy on things that don't benefit the people who genuinely considered us good friends. Suddenly, some folks only show up when they need something. Think about it. Most folks don't ask colleagues to grab coffee, let alone hang out casually. It might make sense why this is happening to you, but fair. Not really. You've got to figure out how to handle this, and I'll share some tips later on to stop folks from taking advantage of you. You'll attract those who need something, not those who want to give back. By being patient and wise, we can form genuine relationships that benefit everyone involved. People come into our lives because our vibes match up. When we're feeling low, we attract negative, gloomy types who bring us down. But when we're positive and energetic, we draw in kind, hard-working souls filled with joy. When we're too giving to everyone, we lose energy and start vibrating at a low frequency. This attracts needy and opportunistic people who just take without giving anything in return, leaving us drained without even a thank you. The Stoics taught how to stay calm and in control of yourself. Self-discipline helps us avoid bad habits and keeps us in sync with our actions and choices. When we lack something regularly, the desire for it grows, leading to potential addiction. Eventually, someone close might notice excessive drinking, eating, or gambling. Listen to those who care about you. Your initial reaction might be anger, but often, when we're engrossed in our own issues, we can't see the problem. Remember those who care want the best for you and are trying to guide you away from pitfalls and toward progress. Stoicism teaches us to do good, regardless of others' opinions. Living by our beliefs and principles helps create a solid reputation that can withstand false accusations. Truth is, there aren't many kind people out there, so if you're kind, people might get suspicious instead of being impressed or grateful. Soon, they'll wonder what's up with you and what secret plans you're hiding. It might seem like you've stumbled upon a sketchy bunch, but most likely they're just being honest. People who offer too much help often hide wicked intentions, so it's safer to steer clear of them and refuse their assistance. Now let's figure out how to prevent others from taking advantage of you. Firstly, Tune into your feelings because they reveal something important. Drawing from stoic self-awareness, it's crucial to understand your emotions and desires. By paying attention to how you feel, you can gauge if you're giving too much and straining yourself mentally. This allows you to readjust your focus and strike a healthy balance. How do you feel when helping others? Prioritizing yourself and your needs is an act of kindness, and it should make you feel like you're walking on air. So, if you're feeling overwhelmed, tired, angry, or used, it's crucial to acknowledge those emotions. If something you're doing makes you feel terrible, don't deceive yourself. Instead, consider how the help you're offering impacts your well-being. Plan accordingly. Number two, don't be afraid of the word no. Your time and energy matter. Balance how you use them. It's okay to say no when you're busy or if someone's asking too much. Saying no might seem tough, but it's vital. If we don't, negativity takes over. Practice saying it in the mirror. It's about reclaiming freedom and avoiding unnecessary stress. Make time for yourself. It's important for self-discipline and respect. Do things you enjoy. Exercise, draw, listen to music, whatever gets you feeling good. Finish your tasks early so you can have this time regularly. If someone asks for help during your me time, politely decline or offer an alternate time, making it clear you have other commitments. Avoid energy draining people. 
Recognize relationships that don't add positivity. It's okay to distance yourself from those who constantly drain you. Trying to help them usually doesn't work. They tend to thrive on complaints. Find the balance in giving. Not too little, not too much. And remember, it's okay to say no. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found these tips helpful and practical. Remember, it's all about finding that balance between helping others and taking care of yourself. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below for more awesome content. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Your support means the world. Until next time, take care and stay awesome.